Hey, everybody, I'm John Granato, and that's Lance Zerline. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. If you hadn't hit subscribe yet, please do so you get all our content here at SportsMap HOU. Hey, Lance, NBC Houston's Vanessa Richardson got a lot of attention Sunday when she tweeted a photo from the Texans press box saying, a first in Texans home game history. Out of all the stations, I'm the only local news sports reporter at the game. And no, they're not all at the World Series. I was down on the field a lot. I haven't spent a lot of time up there in the press box, but you have, and you know, it was jam packed where you stations have got a limited number. We got one uh, a couple of years ago because there were, it was so packed up there. What does this say about this organization when one person shows up for their game? It says what we've been saying for a couple of years, we could see this coming. Uh, well, you could feel it at least. I mean, even when they were winning the division, it was like, oh, why is there just no juice around this team? And we talk about it on the radio, and you could see it coming. And what happens is, okay, Bill O'Brien wasn't likable. Jack Easterby wasn't likable. Cal, you know, you didn't have any faith in him. When you start trading away your best players, and then you go from, you know, division championships to a four-win team, and then a team with no Deshaun Watson on it, and a team that clearly is you, – you, you don't even recognize – you know, the average fan wouldn't recognize a lot of the names of the team. It's gone from – it's gone from bad to unrecognizable. No one's in the – no one's in the, the parking lot uh, tailgating like they used to be. The, the media is not showing up to the games. The fans aren't showing up to the games. Like, this is really – this is what happens. This is what a lot of people have wanted to happen for a long time. Uh, they wanted the fans to make them, themselves known, and that's the only way change would be made. I'm telling you right now, if the Houston Texans don't look at the stands, if you can't see it from there and understand that you're at the very bottom of the totem pole in all of Houston sports, I don't know. They're there with the Rockets. They're in the same place right now. Um, I don't know what to say. And I think that's been an organization, by the way, that has been very arrogant. They yeah. have really dealt with people like – you know, they were the top dog and they didn't care what you said. And 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 now they're having to deal with the repercussions. And some of the, the same people who cover the team no longer are interested until they become a factor. And I think it hurts, John, that the Astros right now are playing in the World Series because it's, it's, such, a, it's such a stark reminder of what a good rebuild looks like and what the yeah. Texans look like. Listen, we've seen it before, uh, you know, people not have an interest in the Astros went through it through their 100 loss yeah. seasons. But. But that was a disinterest. This is a disdain. I think, I, think, I, think, I think fans are disgusted. I think fans are pissed off. I think fans are in a different place than they were. You know what? The Astros were just out of sight, out of mind. They didn't have a television deal. We're not going to the ballpark. They're losing. They have no players. We know they're rebuilding. We'll see what happens when it – this is, I, is, is – Bill O'Brien created a culture of, we dis, of dislike. That's what he created. And Cal is, is, is reaping it right now. Jack Easterby still reaping it right now. Uh, I, I think Coach Cully is probably in the Casario where we have uh, ambivalent feelings toward them. But there is a dislike for this organization. The Rockets didn't have a dislike. The Stephen Catino years were, weren't, to, to a lesser extent, from the Astros and what the Texans are doing now. People just didn't care because it was boring. But, but this is a disdain that I don't think I've ever I've seen – in in an organization ever since I've been here in Houston. Well, it, it is reminiscent of what happened with the Oilers after, you know, they lost. They kept losing oh, late. They just kept coming up short, and people started to fall off the bandwagon. And then all of a sudden, before you knew it, they were asking for a new stadium, and then they were flirting with leaving town, and they had already traded Warren Moon. A lot of the best players had left. And there was a dis disdain that was starting to build, and then all of a sudden it turned into a disinterest because the team all of a sudden said they're moving out of town, and th th everyone completely fell off. The Texans aren't moving out of town, and yet there's some of the same feelings that we're seeing here. And, you know, it's like if you have something that's that broken down, usually Cars for Kids will come out and they'll pick up that, that, that car or that truck or that SUV. I have to see if they'll come out and pick up that organization and haul it off because I'm telling you right now, uh, if I could get if if right now if Cal could get a tax write off for the team, then he could write off the cars, not the kids, for 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 carsforkids.org. Only it has to be like write off, yeah, write Saved off them. the organization and not the kids. Save the organization. Carsforkids.org. 
they're doing great things. The Texans not doing great things. Gotcha. And and unless they – and there's no easy way around this. This is going to take time. You have to wait and get the most you can for Deshaun Watson. And then, John, you kind of hit with your picks. Yeah. If you trade Deshaun Watson and you don't hit, then basically you still gave him away for Okay, okay. Now that's the future, though, okay? And we'll see the next draft if, if Nick Casario excites the fan base. One year from now, mid-season next year, is there a better feeling about this organization? I'm going to say no. I no. think it's going to take longer I than think, that. No. I think if they get the Deshaun Watson trade done they in, and, and they win the trade and they get a lot of young players in here, I think that there could be an era of better feeling. I do think, though, I do think, though, that they do have to do something about the Jack Easterby situation. I do think that it's real. It, Cal won't admit it. Cal doesn't he, – he, he just ignores it. It's a real thing, and I think that they need to start anew, afresh, and get this organization in a place where people don't have ill will toward it. Well, maybe the owner, too. Well, That's he's not the problem. He's not trading himself, though. I mean, he's not, he's, he's not firing himself. Either. He's not trading himself. He does. Jack I Easterby's wouldn't want not going anywhere. Okay, he's would you going. trust? Would you trust Cal? No. For, to trade himself for another anything? No, no. <laughs> but I also wouldn't trust Cal to say, "Well, Jack, I know you fooled me lots of times in the past, like when I got rid of Brian Gain and where I hired your handpicked general manager, and where I gave that general manager six years." who would also keep you in place. But now, now I've wised up, said no one ever. That is off the board in Vegas. Jack Easterby is here to stay, and the era of bad feelings will continue in 2022. Mark it in stone. It's happening.